Good day guys. Welcome to Maths is Made Easy with teacher Satya here. In this video, you guys will be learning about translation. Now make sure you watch the entire video to have a better understanding of this topic. Now let's get to it guys. So before we go forward, let's understand what we mean by translation. Now translation doesn't mean what is the definition of a certain thing, but translation in maths means when we move a shape to a new location. All right, guys. Now let's take this understanding and let's solve a few questions. Now let's say for example, so what you see here is what we call the coordinate plane or the coordinate grid. Now in a coordinate grid, they totally have four quadrants. So the first quadrant is here, the second quadrant is here, the third quadrant is here, and the fourth quadrant is here. All right guys, now let's say I'm going to draw a triangle right here with these three points all right let's say i have a triangle right here with these three points and let me name this as point a point b and point c all right guys so step number one let us write where point a is so point a is going three in the x axis and three in the y axis so point a is located at three and three all right guys and this is what we call the ordered pair all right guys now let's do the same thing for point b point b is six in the x axis and three in the y axis so it is six and three and finally point c if you take a look at it it is six in the x axis and negative one on the y-axis now keep in mind guys whenever we write the ordered pair we always start with the x-axis which is the horizontal axis and then finish up with the y-axis which is the vertical axis all right guys now let's say for example in this question they're telling translate this original shape let's say three points up so let's say three points up and then uh, four points left all right guys so what it means is all of the points we are going to move three points up and four points left all right guys so let us start with point a so three point up will go one two three and then we are going to go four points left which is one two three four so we have found the new point of A and keep in mind that we will not name it as A but we will name it as A prime. All right guys. So you put the original uh, alphabet whatever you have put and we put a slash on top of it which we would call it as A prime. So we call it as A prime. All right guys. Now we are going to do the same thing for B and C. So everything we're going to go three up. So one, two, three and then four left so one two three four which is right here this is our b prime and we are going to do the same for c prime which is three up one two three and four left one two three four which is right about here and c prime now if we join the dots this will be our image all right guys this is our image now also just for fun's sake let's write the ordered pair for a prime b prime and c prime so a prime is located at minus one and six all right guys so it's minus one in the x-axis and goes up by six our b prime is at two and six and then our c prime is at two and two all right guys and that is how we would translate shapes all right guys now let's take this and let's maybe do one more question so let's say i have a shape right here point a point this is point b and let's say this is point c and this is point d all right guys so this is a quadrilateral all right now let's say I have to move this original shape, let's say seven up 
and then six to the left. So I'm going to translate this picture seven points up and six points left. So let's start with A again. So we're going to go seven up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then six left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our new point, which is A prime, will be right here. Now we will do the same for all of the points. All right, guys. So seven up for B is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then going six left will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Will be right about here. This is B prime. We're going to do the same for C. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And six left is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is C prime. And finally with D prime, again, seven up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six left is one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is our D prime, all right, guys? And if we join the dots, the image will look something like this, all right, guys? And that is how we translate images. Now, if you did enjoy this video, do not forget to hit on the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos. Until next time, guys, have a nice day.